Hello everybody! Yeah. Hi Flickr! Hi guys! It's Vloggist, it's Vloggist! We're gonna vlog each day in August. It's Vloggist for you! It's Vloggist, it's Vloggist! We hope you'll think it's cool in August. It's Vloggist for you! Oh my gosh, you guys, so excited! by the title of this video already. We are going to see Niall in concert. Woo! I had no idea until recently because my mom's friend got us tickets, us three, me, my mom, and my dad. My brother doesn't like Niall, so he's well, not here. He likes I mean, Niall, but yeah. he doesn't wanna, you know, he's yeah, not right, like right, a right, fan. He doesn't right. know the songs. Yeah. So anyway, so he's not here. But, so exciting, you guys. I'm a directioner. I've always loved Niall, love his songs. It's gonna be so exciting. Yes, and we went to the Run to One Direction concert years ago. Yes, we Jack did. So you should find that picture. Oh my gosh, if I there. could find it, I'll put it in. Oh, I don't even look the guys. same, I feel. Oh my, I no, had, no, she looks so much younger. Oh, I do. Yeah. yeah, I had suspenders on for Louie. I had hot pink pants on. I had a One Direction shirt, and yeah, it was so much fun. So we're actually just arriving. Uh, we don't know exactly how the seats are gonna be, uh, since you know we didn't pick them, but right. they look like they're pretty good seats. Yeah, after and we got them, we looked on yeah. the, we looked online for the concert thing, and they look like good seats. The only thing um, I'm worried about is, I don't think, you know, it goes up. I don't think it's stable, yeah, it's I not. think it's flat. So you know, once the, once it starts, all those young whippersnappers are gonna stand <laughs> up, and then old short mom is not gonna be able to see, although they do I'm have, shorter than you. You know, <laughs> they do have screens. Yeah. But why do people stand up in a concert? I, I think there should be a rule. I think it's because they want to get down to the music. Like, I guess. But how, like how much can you get down to Nile? I mean, you I can sway, know. right? Yeah, his are more laid back. Yeah. The concert is at the Five Points Amphitheater, which is at the Great Park in Irvine. Yes. Yeah. So it should be fun because, like, we haven't we haven't even been to the Great Park. Jacqueline will show you guys around. Yes. Yeah, so exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. All right, we made it in. They have a lot of food places, as you can see. Here's a little grass area with seating. There's some of the actual seats for the concert. They're elevated. And yeah, lots of people. Oh my gosh, you guys, so cute. They're playing a One Direction song. Amazing, nostalgia. Walk into the seats. It's almost gonna start. It is 7.15. You really can't see that at all. It's fine. <laughs> Whoa, you guys. Look at this. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think they're pretty good seats. Oh, there's Dad Flicker! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's pretty great. Until they stand up. Oh, oh my gosh, until they stand up. That's gonna be the, the hard thing. Oh my gosh, how awesome. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is not what we were expecting at all. These are pretty good seats. He's gonna be right there. Oh my goodness. Uh, when he sent me the song um, on his record, it was very reminiscent of country music to me, which is where I'm coming from. Woo! Um, it, it is just so cool to be a part of a tour that's, you know, sort of classified as a pop tour and be a country artist a part of that. And uh, I feel like 
I was never raised to listen to the radio and think of music as, uh, having boundaries. I just liked if a song was good. It didn't matter if it was like country or pop or hip hop or R&B or Motown. I just love music and I love being a part of a tour that brings two worlds together in such a seamless way. So I thank Niall and his team for having us out on this amazing tour this year. And uh, as a woman in country music, uh, Woo! it is very cool to get to tour and have songs on the radio at all, especially in the last couple of years. So thank you guys for supporting me. Um, and this next song is actually my very first ever number one that went number one earlier this year, which was so cool. And uh, this is called I Could Use a Love Song. Job quick, sitting in the dark with a shared cigarette. Seeing eye to eye and heart to heart. But maybe I'm just getting old. Used to work, but now I don't. You guys, we are waiting for Niall. People are coming in. I don't know if you could tell. Wow. And look at this. They have fake grass. Like, that's so good because we hate sitting on real grass, you know, because of bugs. <laughs> we, no, we are, yes, like, we are not camping people whatsoever. So this is, this is good. People, or just, yes, outdoors <laughs> in general. That's a good point. <laughs>
Wow. This looks pretty sweet. Welcome to the Flicker World Tour. I only live up the road in Los Angeles, so it's good to be back here. I don't know what it is. It's starting to feel like a home show for me. This end of the road. I had the same nerves tonight as I do when I go on stage in Ireland. That's, I, this is a good thing. So thank you so much for welcoming me back. It's great to be here. I hope you guys have a fantastic evening. We're going to try our best to do to give you a good one. But I'm going to need all of your energy the whole night, okay? Are you ready? Yeah! This is this time. Kiss you and nobody's there The smell of your perfume still stuck in the air It's hard Yesterday I thought I saw your shadow run around It's funny how things never change in this so time So far From the start Welcome back to California. Thank you so much. Oh my god, we got small babies in here. Is a, is a song by my favorite singer songwriter performer dude of all time a guy called Bruce Springsteen and it was a massive hit for him and and I love playing this song it's one of my favorites as I said I'm a fan I'm sure we've got Bruce fans in here because this is this is a proper music loving state over here in Cali so you're gonna love it so if you know it please sing along this is called dancing in the dark
Everyone having a good time? Yeah! All right. This uh, this next tune is is my personal favorite song on this album, and a song that that means a lot to me. And because I knew how I felt and what I wanted to say, I wrote this song quite quick. It only took me about 20 minutes to write this, and the lyrics just kept coming and coming, and it was it was a perfect scenario. And what's, what's been great about watching you guys take this album in is you've no idea what this song is about, but you've made it about, this album in general actually, you've made it about something in your lives, which is, you know, as a songwriter, that's why we write music, is to, to make music that speaks to people in a different way. So, what I want you to do for the next few minutes is just stick your phones in your pockets, and, and just take a deep breath and go to that place in your head where this song takes you and don't leave it for a few minutes. Hold on to the person beside you if you love them. I say this, I've said this before, but I mean, you've got three and a half minutes, calm down. You've got loads of time. And um, just close your eyes and go to that place and see if it takes you somewhere. This is called Flicker. And this is exactly why I wanted to be a musician my whole life. So thank you very much. This next tune is a song that I wrote, um, obviously on piano, that's why I'm here. <laughs> but uh, it was one of the first songs that I wrote for Flickr, but when it came to choosing the songs for the album, I couldn't... The production on this song was just a little bit too strange for the rest of the album. So I wasn't happy with it, so I left it out. Sadly, but thank God we're all here because we, uh, we've come up with a, a live version of this song. I really like this song and I wanted you guys to hear it. This is called, if you know it, by the way, please sing along. I want to hear you all singing along if you know it. This is called So Long.
introduce you to these fine gentlemen beside me. Would you like to meet them? <laughs> Please give it up on bass from Ireland, Mr. John Bird. On drums from England, Alex Tortison. On keys, also from England. Louis Carell. <laughs> On violin from Ireland, Mr. <laughs> Connor Masterson. <laughs> <laughs> and on guitar from Dublin, Ireland, <laughs> Mr. Jake Curran. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I'm also Irish. This is finally free.
This is called Mirrors. Like he is the sweetest person in the world. I know he's so like funny. You know, you and know, he just yes. seems so humble and sweet and kind. And you know, and yeah, nice. You That's can the tell same if thing, a person but... is pretending to be nice or if they're really nice. And he seems so sweet. Oh yeah. my gosh, his cute little accent. Guitar picks. Oh my gosh, with like his name on him because I, I could one. see. We asked a guy, and he said one time the security threw out like a hundred of them at yes. once. I don't know if that was. That's true, but that's what he said. It was like a young security guy. He was really nice. <gasps> yes. So I wish I could have gotten one because as you guys know, I play guitar and ukulele, so that would have been really cool, but unfortunately, mm -hmm. didn't get one. And though, at the I, end, he played a One Direction song, like you're already saying one. But I wish it was like an older one. I know, like yeah, a more, really yeah, like a, to play original a, yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, I know. Our seats were so good, you guys. They were pretty close, I would I know, say. and the seats were really comfy. Yeah. They had really good cushions. And, but as, of course, as soon as Niall came out, Oh, I know that was unfortunate. Yes. Because Every, yes. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Everybody stood up, you guys, and they never sat down. And even if I stood up, which I did a couple times, I still couldn't see. I was like literally on my tippy toes, trying to see the stage. So I, I said, I forget it. Yeah. And I just sat there and I took pictures of the screen. Yep. And so. I had to stand on my tippy toes too. And now we're lost because we can't remember where we parked the car. Because now it's oh, so there. It looks together. Oh, here we are. Got it. Hey, Jacqueline found it. And guess what? I was gonna say, even when I stood on my tippy toes. I 
still couldn't I know, I know. Because everyone was so tall, I'm, yes. I'm barely even five feet. Yes. So it was and very then I wore this darn jumpsuit, you guys. It's supposed to go off the shoulder, but I never wear anything off the shoulder, so I felt all weird, like uncomfortable. Yeah. And then it was all weird all night because it kept getting all weird here. And yeah. Look, can you guys see the the orange, <laughs> the balloon, the hot air balloon? It's right there. Wow. We're kind of far though, and it's like bumpy, but. All right, you guys. We got some tacos. They're so good. Little soft tacos. Some chips with cheese. Really tasty. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's a little bit lengthy, but I wanted to upload all of these clips just for myself to watch in the future, to reminisce on such a great night. So, you know, it's okay if you skipped some areas, totally understandable. We actually cut this video a little bit short. When we got home, we talked to you guys for a little bit, but this video was getting a little bit long. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video where uh, we actually show you guys some merchandise that I got and uh, give you our reaction to the whole night. Yeah, I guess that's it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and give this video a thumbs up. See you tomorrow.